Hi, my name is Chelsea Brown and I am a teaching artist for the Alliance Theatre Institute. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing a fun digital lesson that you can do with your class to hold a town hall style meeting via video conference. My hope is to bring some fun ways to use drama to teach your digital lessons as we navigate ourselves through these online learning days. Um, I am going to be using the book Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems to cover English language arts standards on on writing informative, explanatory, and opinion writing. We're going to use Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems as the example for this lesson, but remember that you can use the town hall format for any book that has a polarizing problem that will lend itself to an interesting debate. I've used this before with the true story of the three little pigs on whether the wolf was guilty or innocent of blowing the three little pigs house down. You can use this for any book that has a polarizing problem that you can have your students have an opinion on one thing or the other. Before we go any further, it is time for you to learn the tools of the actor. In the student version of this video, I will do the chant with them, but you can be the ones to teach it to them. So we have four tools of the actor. They are body, voice, imagination, and concentration. These are all the tools that we need as an actor to create a character. We can manipulate our voices, our bodies, and we can make those choices by using our imagination and concentrating. So here's a little chant that I use to remember the tools of the actor and to teach them to the kids and it also can be a fun warm-up. The tools of the actor are my body, my voice, oh, my imagination, concentration. Once your students master the chant, you can practice it in several different silly ways. For example, your students could say it as robots or cowboys or surfer dudes, whatever they want, and you can always take suggestions from them. This can turn into a really fun warm up, and it is especially fun for their voices and using their whole body. Your first step, of course, is to read the book. I am going to include a link in the description of this video to my favorite reader aloud of Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed so you can see all of the beautiful pictures and illustrations up close. Next, you are going to discuss the book together. This can be on a video conference. Everyone can have a moment to share their favorite parts of the book, what they think about wearing clothes or going naked, and start sharing their opinions and get the wheels turning. But you just want to make sure that the students understand the beginning, the middle, and the end of the story, because that will take us into the next section. In your digital lesson, discuss the beginning, middle, and end of the book. Can your students create statues with their bodies to represent the different parts of the story? Give them a three, two, one freeze to get into their statues and then a unfreeze so they can relax. For example, if I was going to create a statue for the beginning of the book, I'm gonna choose this moment right here where Wilbur is saying, I like clothes, when I get dressed, I can be all these things. So I'm gonna recreate this statue as my beginning of the story statue. Three, two, one, freeze. Unfreeze. Now that the students are a little more immersed in this story and familiar with the world of the book, they are going to create characters. They can be relatives or have relationships with characters in the book, but they can't actually be characters from the story. So they will create a, a naked mole rat who lives in the tunnel with all of the other naked mole rats and Wilbur and Grandpa. They will create a Facebook profile for their character with their character's made up name and their basic information. And then they can create a short video of themselves to send in telling you about their character, introducing themselves, telling their name, and start expressing their opinion on how they feel about naked mole rats wearing clothes or going naked. So an example of a character that your students could create, instead of being Wilbur from the story, you could be somebody who knows Wilbur. Maybe you're Wilbur's brother or Wilbur's cousin or Wilbur's mom. Maybe you know grandpa from the story. Maybe you work at grandpa's office and you that's why you have the opinion that you have. So the different relationships that the kids can have to the characters in the story will help develop their opinions. So 
I'm Wilbur's next door neighbor and he's such a good friend of mine and he, I love that he wants to wear clothes and I think that's great so I think people should be able to do whatever they want. Another example of a character who had the polarizing opinion could be, well, I work at Grandpa's office and I think it's really important that naked mole rats are naked because that's in the name and that's who we are. So there's many different versions of characters that you could come up with that could have these opinions to start getting the kids to expressing their opinion and giving a supporting argument behind why they believe what they believe. Not only will the students be playing a character, you will too. Your character's name is Gina or Gino Molrat, and you are Grandpa's secretary. You will be hosting the town hall in this character. Have fun with your character and give them a simple little costume. You can do sunglasses or a scarf or a cool jacket, whatever you've got lying around the house. Uh, show your students some ideas of some simple costumes they can also come up with with things lying around their house. Um, let the class know that they will be meeting a special friend, but don't give away that it's you. Then you're going to send them a video of you in character as Gina or Gino and let them know about yourself. Introduce your character to them and let them know about the town hall meeting and everything that they need to prepare before they get to the meeting. It is time for the town hall. You will be hosting your town hall meeting on your video conference. So you will come to the town hall in character. Your students will come to the town hall in character. And one at a time, your students will discuss their opinion on why naked mole rats should or should not wear clothes. You, as grandpa's diligent secretary, will be taking notes and you will let him know of everyone's opinion and how they feel about clothes. And you'll be taking that information on to him. I hope you have fun at your town hall meeting. This is a great time to stay in character and be really silly and enjoy the kids having a great time being in character as well. After your town hall meeting is over, now is a great time to reflect upon your experiences. So you can have your students write a letter to Wilbur or Grandpa talking about their experience at the town hall and if their time at the town hall may or may not have changed their opinion. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that this can bring a little fun and light to your classroom and your digital online learning days. All of the scripts and additional information and links and mentions to any videos will be in the description of this video. Thank you so much for joining me.